What's going on, guys? Um, real quick, right? I'm going into the junkyard. It's one of the biggest junkyard here in Kansas City, Missouri. And I want to share that with you guys because the last junkyard video that I shared, uh, the people were having some issue. So at that moment, they said they're not allowed to sell anything. It gotta be some something like a bank issue between them and the bank or the city. Uh, that's what the guy told me. So they said uh, right now they're not selling anything. So he decided not to give me the address. And that's one of the reasons I didn't share the address with you guys. But this junk, y'all, you can find pretty much any trucks, okay? But in fact, I do DIY on my trucks if I need anything, all right, I look for the junkyard, uh, it turned out that I'm here in Kansas City, I drop off my load, and I have another load going back to Chicago, so I just want to stop in the junkyard and pick up what I need for my truck, uh, the temperature control for my other truck is not working, so when you put it on heat, it blew nothing but cool air, all right, and I called the dealership talking about one thousand something dollars, and these guys are selling it for under two hundred dollars. That's the difference right there. These are some of the reasons I'm still surviving because I don't go to dealership or bus store. I only look for truck junkyard. So I will be able to show you guys the junkyard and share the address with you. Yeah, let me see if I can park over here because. This business is rough, man. You have to know how to do yourself some oil change and, you know, a little bit of everything out there. Otherwise, the price went up on everything. So, if you don't learn how to do some stuff on your own, even personal call, man. Because this dealership, they make money from service. You know, they don't, they don't make money from... Uh, from selling car, they make a lot of money for service. You go in to change brake, they will buy the brake for fifty dollars and then charge you for three hundred or four hundred. Right? That's how they make that money. So, if you guys also looking to buy a a new tire, a good new tire, all right? They have different different kinds over here. Um, some of them are stuck just like this. It's still looking nice. Uh, you can look. I'm just looking to see if anything I can grab. Like they always come into a set. This one, for example, is still good. Uh, you know, they got all kinds of parts over here. Uh, truck seats. This is for front row uh, passenger seats on your box truck. All these stuff are for sale. They take it out and sometimes they fix it good or whatever. This one here is a whole set, and it's still looking good. You know, if you want to buy a used tire for your truck, you just buy the whole set for your bus truck. And uh, they got some mufflers for those of y'all that have a uh, semi trucks and stuff like that. But they, they just told me to come in here and check and see whatever I like. So this one here, they stay got some good thread. You guys can see that pretty good. Uh, but it doesn't fit my truck because my truck is 11 out of 225. And this one here is not. But other than that, that's a pretty good tire. Pretty good looking tires. Uh, the same thing over here. You know, and they are good brands though. You know, this one is Gladiator. Uh, this one is Goodyear. Uh, yeah, this one is Michigan. So let me see. And they have battery and all the cool stuff. That's not in the junkyard though, that's just inside here. Uh, so. Yeah, that's a Bridgestone right there. Good looking tire, still looking good. 
So they just sell, like I said, a big junkyard, but they also sell pretty much every parts that you're looking for. Uh, new, use, everything, right? Everything you're looking for for your truck, you can get it for here, guys. I'm telling you, like, you don't have to go to a dealership to buy anything. Like, if you, this right here, for example, is for your uh, exhaust, clamps, whatever. So if you guys are looking for stuff like that, you want to come out here, there are plenty of them out here. Because when you go to the dealership to get one of these clams, pretty expensive, right? So they sell everything you think about. Like if you got semi trucks and you need an airline, all the stuff, all of that stuff, you know. Look at it. All right. So they sell brand new stuff, man. Brand new stuff and new stuff. You know, um, it's a big place. So. You're looking for oil, differential flu, all the crazy stuff they're selling that over here. Then, um, pretty much everything. I'm interested in getting also some new tire because they have pretty good new tire. Like the tires are still good. It can take you for another six to seven months, guy. Uh, you don't have to go put money into brand brand new tire if these tires are still good. Uh, like I said, depending on how you drive. They can take you for a year, all right? Can you imagine if you're buying a tire for $100, $150, as a $300 for two, which is like a good brand, like good years and Brickstone and all the good tires, right? So that's something like that you guys want to keep in mind. That's what I do to survive, man. Like, seriously, I don't go to dealership anymore. I go after this junkyard. I will take you guys to the junkyard if they allow me to go in there to show you guys what's going on. By our museum that we have. You guys we, see it? We actually own those trucks. You can get a free Canada over here too. <laughs> I might grab some. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, man, come out here and get your parts for a decent price. Yeah pretty much get every single manufacturer over here you know because some of these trucks are new and, and they got into an accident and they take the parts off sell it to you for a decent price if you want it brand new too they can give it to you brand new these people have been around for a long time though check it out since 1939 baby so I wasn't really looking to get a new style, but I saw one that I really like, and they gave it to me for $220 plus taxes, guys. $220. Uh, they told me it's still tire, they go pretty fast. So I'm just gonna grab it and throw it on my truck and, and take it home. Because $220, that's not even the price on one tire. And that tire, I can use it for another five, six months for now, right? So if it's not safe, they're not going to sell it. This is a big company. If the tire is not safe to be on the truck, they're not going to sell it. So that's, that's some of the things you guys want to know. So I'm being honest with you, man. If you're looking for transmission, whatever you're looking for, you want to come down here. I honestly never knew that they have this type of big truck junkyard here in Kansas City, Missouri, right? So... so I was told that they don't allow anybody to go in the yard for safety. If you need something, you tell them and they go take it off and give it to you. That's why, right? You guys don't let people go in the yard for... Yeah, so... Yeah, I wish I could show you guys the yard, man. It's really huge, though. Look at all these tires, man. Like, they're ready for anybody who's looking for a good set of tires. And they're on the ramps, though. Like, you can just come by the whole pallet. And that's it. You know, they got traders for sale. I wish they could let me go in the yard. These are really good tire guys. Look at that. Still looking good. So yeah. But it is what it is, man. Yeah, I wish they could let me go in the yard so I'll show you guys what's going on. But unfortunately, for safety, according to Dan, they don't want somebody getting hurt. So if you need something. You tell them and they go get it off the truck and give it to you. That's pretty much, but uh, 
So I got two set of tires and plus my temperature control. They're going to to get my temperature control thing. Uh, so I got to back in my truck and throw the tire on the truck. I have a low on the truck already. They said the tires are on the pilot, so they just take the pilot, put it in the truck. I said, now I already have a low in my truck, so they're just gonna unwrap it and throw it in it, and that's it. So, wait for my temperature control and things, and I'm out of here, man. But yeah, that's the way it is. You guys wanna be smart these days for the fact that things are getting expensive. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, you guys need a tire, you know, get it and you can call one of these mobile mechanic guy you know and throw on it you don't have to take it to the truck stop because if you take it to the truck stop they will charge you more so you call one of these uh mobile mechanic tire guys they put your tire on it for maybe hundred dollars cheap that's it instead of going to because if you i remember my driver blew off a tire one time and he was close to the truck stop and I sent him to the truck stop, right? They gave him a new tire for $370. New tire, just one new tire for $370, guys. So, can you guys imagine that? So, I'm getting two tires for what? $220? You know what I'm saying? That's your boy from Africa, man.